then some yapping, then later to some Devin Bush grass kicking and digging up, and later to upset the 2018 Michigan Michigan State game. Man, hey, does it have a name? Like, are we calling it Logo Gate, the Logo Game, the 94 yard game? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, but stick around because I'm going to take y'all behind the scenes, give y'all an exclusive story that you probably haven't heard before. But as always, like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what are the questions or anything you got. All right, so the start of the story, it does not begin the day of the game. And it doesn't even begin the week of the game. The story begins back in 2017. So for those of you that don't remember, back in 2017, Michigan, we were undefeated going to the Michigan State game, and we were, we were favored to beat them. And I don't remember if game day was there, but the game was definitely prime time, was college football, game of the week, you know, ABC Saturday night. Yeah, it was like it was a lit environment. And unfortunately, you know, there was a monsoon, like a whole host of things happened. But uh, yeah, they beat us in a close game. So for those of you that also don't know, the winner of the Michigan-Michigan State game gets the Paul Bunyan trophy. So they won the game, they got the trophy, and... They took the trophy and literally like spread it over to our student section, to our fans, and we're basically you know, celebrating in front of them. So fast forward to 2018, the week before we played Michigan State, we played Wisconsin, who also beat us in 2017, and we beat them. And that's when Chase Winovich coined the term, the revenge tour, you feel me? We was on the revenge tour, we was coming for blood for everyone that beat us the year before. Now, when you're going to Michigan, you don't need any outside things to hype you up when you're playing Michigan State, Ohio State. Like, those are games you just get up ready to go for. Now, as we always did, we had our team meeting on Monday where Coach Harbaugh really just talked about things for the week and all that. But, um, no, for the team meeting that week before that Michigan State game, he came in with a look that I ain't really never, ever seen in his eyes before. And he's, like, he's not the biggest hype guy, especially during the week. Like, he's not really one to, you know, be the rah-rah type of coach. But... Yo, when I tell you he gave probably the best speech I heard in my time at Michigan that Monday before the Michigan State game, and basically he just reminded us all that when they won the year before, they took Paul and literally ran around our student section, ran around our field. Like, their goal was to embarrass us last year. So he basically told us that not if, but when we win the game, we're finna take the trophy and we're finna run around their stadium, you know, to – basically like an eye for an eye type of thing like they did it to us yo we're not holding back you feel me we're gonna do the same exact thing to them like we're gonna match disrespect with disrespect so the whole team hears this you feel me we're going like we're going crazy in the in our seats like everyone's just gassed up amped up ready to play you feel me so week goes by practice we had a phenomenal week of practice like that was one of the best weeks of practice that we've had in my time at michigan but then we get to the day of the game so as there is before every college football game there's the unofficial warm-up period before the games which is basically where guys go out on their own and warm up for the game. So they go through their own routine, do their own thing before the more formal team warm up later on. So this is 2018, you feel me? My red shirt freshman year. I was literally only traveling because I was a backup on like two or three special teams. I knew for a fact I was not touching the field on defense. And this is also Michigan in October. So it's brick. I'm like, yo, I'm keeping my ass inside the locker room for this entire period. Like this is the last time I would be warm for the next three to four hours. Obviously later in my Michigan career and when I was at Utah State, I would definitely like, I had a full warm up. Like I was sweating before the game. But back then I'm like, yo, if it's called a warm up, I'm trying to be warm. The best way to stay warm is to not be in the cold. So <laughs> yeah, my ass was in the locker room. But at the same time, you know, the guys who played, they were on the field warming up. So I'd never heard about it before, but apparently Michigan State has their little like cute little uh, hold arms and walk across the stadium deal or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, they did that, and we've all seen the video by now. We saw how it transpired, you know, had the helmets on. Scary if you ask me, but had the helmets on and basically held the held the arms and basically tried walking through our guys that were on the field already. And also, I'm not sure if they were late or early, but they were supposed to do it at a time when our guys weren't going to be on the field, but they made sure to... Uh, I'm not going to say made sure, but allegedly they made sure to mismanage their time so that... They did it while our guys were on the field as, you know, a little show of intimidation, I guess. So everything that happened, happened. And you feel me? I feel, I feel D-Bush. Like, I feel what he did. You feel me? Like, like I said before, match disrespect with disrespect. So they finna do their little, little walk thing or whatever and purposely, like, you, you even saw some clips. Some dudes broke the link and let my boy Leak go by. But other dudes, you feel me, held, held on so that way they kind of clothesline uh, low and D-Bush. But... Yeah, you feel me? So he did what D. Bush did what he did. You feel me? I have no problem with it. Like, yo, you gonna do that? All right, bet we finna match it. But 
So everyone gets back to the locker room. Like I said before, mind you, I'm in the locker room. I'm chilling, you feel me? All right, like, I hope these my guys are ready to ball out today because, you know, I'm not touching the field, but, yo, I'm still, still going to celebrate the victory. So everyone gets back to the locker room, and someone, like, kind of screams out, yo, they jumped D. Bush out there. So dudes heard that. They jumped up, you feel me? They're, they look like they're ready to spin the block. Coaches are like, yo, chill, chill, chill. Like, we're not going to be able to, we, you're not doing anything right now. Like, we're not, nothing's happening right now. Get ready for the game, you feel me? Let's just whip their ass on the field. D. Bush, you feel me? He got a look of a madman in his eyes. I'm like, yo, I do not want to be someone who is going against him today. But we go through the rest of the pregame warm-ups, you know. He's still looking mad as hell. And at the time, mind you, no, we still haven't kind of seen what happened. So a little time goes by. We're going through warm-ups, and there was a weather delay. Like, like I said, Michigan in October. Like, that game, it literally rained, hailed was sunny, snowed, like it, the weather was awful. So I don't remember exactly if the weather delay happened before the first kickoff or happened a little bit in the first quarter. It was one of the two though. There was definitely a weather delay, but we're all back in the locker room. Dudes throw their headphones back on, kind of, you know, try and zone out for a little bit before locking back in before the game. And I want to say it was Ambry. He was next to me, Ambry Thomas. And he like tapped me and shows me his phone and it's the video of what happened outside. So now we're all like, oh, it all makes sense. And I want to say, too, there was a TV in the locker room that like showed the that was showing kind of the broadcast of it that showed what happened. So dudes see it on the TV and they're like, oh, shit, like they're really they're really wild. Like, yo, <laughs> it was like D Bush against everyone else. But low key, I, like he got the coldest flick of all time as a result of that. But so we was already gassed up from just being Michigan State. We were more gassed up from it being the revenge tour. We were more gassed up from what Coach Harbaugh said on Monday. Now we were even more gassed up because of what happened pregame. Like if Michigan State was on 10 that game, we was on like 50. Like, bro, when I tell you we was the most locked in team in the country on that day, like it wasn't even close. So the game starts. You feel me? It was a close game for a little bit. Uh, defense balled out. They had like 94 yards. You know, they were, they were sorry on offense that day. But, um, yeah, we beat them. So that is the story of what went down behind the scenes at the 2018 game and what kind of led up to it and what caused, you feel me, D. Bush to stomp the, stomp the logo like he did. Now, I'm a fan of it. I'm going to retweet it every time I see it. I think it was super tough. But, yeah, you feel me? That's, that's going to do it for the story. So like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you all next time.